Boys and Girls as the King's Clown. And we're here at Virginia doing the children's camp. And I uh, want to share something with you about your, you, uh, you, your personal prayer life. And boys and girls, it's that important. Jesus had a personal prayer life. I have a personal prayer life. And if you ever want to live a, a happy, victorious life, you're gonna to have to find your own place to pray. I kneel down on my pillow, I cover my head with my blanket, an eight-year-old taught, a seven-year-old taught me that a long time ago, and then I pray. You may be wondering what to pray about, and you can go online, Google this, prayer wheel, prayer wheel, and I have one here on my phone. You may not be able to see it too well, but it will help you, and uh, it will help you to uh, spend a little bit of time on each thing. But here's what I want you to do: while you're praying your prayer wheel, okay, uh, family, church, all these things, personal life. Uh, repentance of your sins and all that stuff while you're praying this written down prayer wheel maybe you have it in your phone or you print it out I want you to make your own topics I want you to add your own topics to whatever prayer wheel you download personal stuff and only you and Jesus are going to hear it because you're in a prayer closet it's pretty sneaky huh you pray every time every day and every time there's an altar call you go to the altar and that way when you really need it nobody will know <laughs> Oh, he's always up there. She's always up there. And so make prayer a practice. Practice prayer. Uh, it's not as hard as it sounds if you have something to kind of help you uh, do it. And I'm not going to tell you how long to pray or how short to pray, but you do. You, we do. We have to pray. And I love you. And bye-bye.